Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the next permutation problem. Implement next permutation, which rearranges numbers into the lexicographically next greater permutation of numbers. If such arrangement is not possible, it must rearrange it as the lowest possible order, that is, sort it in ascending order. The replacement must be in place and use only constant extra memory. Here are some examples. Inputs are in the left hand column and its corresponding outputs are in the right hand column. So if the given permutation is 1, 2, 3, the next permutation is 1, 3, 2. If the given permutation is 3, 2, 1, this is the biggest possible permutation for these three elements. So the next permutation is 1, 2, 3. You return the smallest possible permutation because for the biggest possible permutation, there's no next permutation. If the given permutation is 1, 1, 5, the next permutation is 1, 5, 1. So, how can we solve this problem? As you know, a permutation is a rearrangement of elements. So, one approach, the brute force approach, is to find all permutations of the array and then order those permutations in dictionary order and from that order you find the next permutation of the given permutation. The time and space complexity would be enormous. It would be factorial time and space complexity. So there are n factorial permutations of n elements. And also finding all the permutations of an array is not a trivial problem. So how can we do better? If we analyze several cases, several concrete examples, we can find multiple steps that will allow us to rearrange the elements so as to find the next permutation. So as you can see here, we have two permutations. P is 201 and Q is 210. We know that P comes before Q because if we go from left to right and we find the first position where P and Q differ, we see that that position is here. And you see there is a zero in P and there is a one in Q. And because zero is less than one, we know that P is less than Q. We know that P comes before Q. So we find the first position from from left to right where they differ. Two and two are the same, but zero and one are different. And because zero is less than one, we know that P comes less uh, comes before Q. So how can we do this in an, in an efficient way? Because factorial time and space is very bad. We can do this in big O of n time and big O of one space. Let's say that we are given this permutation 6215430 that's the initial permutation then if we go from right to left and we find the longest decreasing suffix then we can find the longest decreasing suffix and we focus on the element right before the longest decreasing suffix so for instance here we see um, a 3 and we see that 3 is bigger than 0 so the longest decreasing suffix that we have found so far is 3 0 then we examine the 4 and we, we see that 4 is bigger than 3 so the longest decreasing suffix that we have seen so far is 4 3 0 and then we examine the 5 we see that 5 is bigger than 4 so the longest decreasing suffix that we have seen so far is 5 4 3 0 and then when we get here we examine the 1 and we see that 1 is less than 5 so we are done. We know that the longest decreasing suffix in the entire in the entire permutation is 5430. And this element before the longest decreasing suffix is 1. And we can say that this element is a position k. So now we have this permutation divided into two parts. The first part is the prefix. The second part is the suffix. So we want to fix the prefix and also fix the, the suffix to get the next permutation. We want to fix the prefix. We need to find the smallest prefix that is bigger than this prefix. 
because we want to modify the permutation. We want to increase the permutation by as little as possible. Similar to an odometer in a car that increases by as little as possible, but in this case we can only reorder the elements in order to increase the elements. So we need to find a way to reorder the elements so as to increase the elements by as little as possible, to increase the permutation by as little as possible. So this is a position k. Now in order to fix the prefix, in order to find the prefix, the smallest prefix that is bigger than this prefix, we can find the smallest element in the suffix that is bigger than this element 1. The smallest element in the suffix that is bigger than the element of position k. And we can find that if we start from right to left, the first element that is bigger than 1, that's the element we're looking for. And we can say that this element is a position L. This element is at position L, and this element is at position K. Now, to fix the prefix, we just have to swap the element at position L with the element at position K. And then we get 6, 2, 3. So this is fine. This is the smallest prefix bigger than this prefix. But the suffix is not fine. We have to fix the suffix. So we need to we want to find the smallest suffix in order to fix it and get the final permutation, get the next permutation. How can we find the smallest suffix um, or the smallest permutation from this suffix? We can just sort the elements in ascending order. So if we sort these elements in the suffix in ascending order, we get 0, 1, 4, 5. And then the the prefix is fine and the suffix is fine. And now this is the next permutation. And we don't actually have to sort um, the suffix. If we reverse the suffix, then this is going to have the same effect as sorting the suffix in ascending order. Because all the elements in all the elements in the suffix are in decreasing order. So if we reverse the elements, we're going to get all the elements sorted in ascending order. So that's the main algorithm. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to have integer k gets a value of nums.length minus 2, while k is greater than or equal to 0, and num sub k is greater than or equal to num sub k plus 1, keep decrementing k, minus minus k. So what I'm doing here is that I want to find the index k. That's the index right before the longest decreasing suffix. That would be this in this index here, or the index of this element. So I start k here, and I see that the next element uh, is, le is less than this element, so I decrement k. So 4 is bigger than 3, decrement k. 5 is bigger than 4, decrement k. So now k is here, and because 1 is less than 5, 1 is not bigger than 5, we stop. And now we have k. Alright, so now we know that the longest decreasing suffix starts at position k plus 1, which is here, all the way to the end. Now we have the prefix, and this is the suffix. Now we need to f find um, the smallest element in the suffix that is bigger than the element at position k. So, there's a special case. If k equals equals minus 1, what does that mean? It means that the entire permutation is in decreasing order. And that means that the entire permutation is the biggest possible permutation for this element. So there's no next permutation. In this case, what they want us to do is return the smallest possible permutation. So how can we get the smallest possible permutation? We can do that by sorting in ascending order. But because all the elements are in decreasing order, we just have to reverse the elements. So I can say reverse the in the array nums from position 0 to position nums.length minus 1 and return because I'm done. So in this case that they give us the biggest possible permutation, there's no next permutation, so we just um, return the smallest possible permutation by reversing from position 0 inclusive to position nums that length inclusive nums that length minus 1 inclusive and then we're done alright and if we um, 
if they don't give us the biggest possible permutation, then we have an index k, which is this one. So we have to fix the prefix. So we have to find the smallest element in the suffix that is bigger than, than this element at position k. So we need to go from right to left um, in the suffix. And the first element that we find that is bigger than 1, then that's the element we, we want to swap with. And we can say that that element is a position L. So I'm going to say for integer L gets the value of norms that length minus 1, L is greater than K minus minus L. Then I can say if norm sub L is greater than norm sub K, then that's the element I'm looking for. I want to swap integer temp gets the value of norm sub K, norm sub K gets the value of norm sub L num sub l gets the value of temp and break all right so at this point i found the smallest element in the suffix that is bigger than than the element of position k so this is a position k and this is a position l after swapping them now i get this and now i can see that the prefix is fixed the prefix is fine now I just need to fix the suffix. How do I fix it? By reversing it so that I can get all the elements in ascending order. So that's going to give me the smallest possible permutation for the suffix. And then this is going to be the next permutation. So now I just have to reverse the suffix. So in the array from position k plus 1 all the way to position norms that length minus 1. And that's it. That's the entire algorithm. Now, I'm using this method reverse. This is a helper method that I have to write. So private void reverse in the array of integer nums from start inclusive to end inclusive. So while start is less than the end, I can say integer temp gets the value of num sub start, num sub start gets the value of num sub end, and because I'm done with the element of position start, I can move, I can increment start, so using the post increment operator, num sub end gets the value of temp, and because I'm done, modifying the element of position end, I can decrement end using the post decrement operator. So by the end of the iteration, by the end of the while loop, the entire array is going to be reversed from position star inclusive to position end inclusive. So as you can see, um, this is the entire algorithm here. Let's run the code. All right, it seems to be working fine. I'm gonna submit a solution. This is working perfectly. So as you can see, this is a very efficient solution. The time complexity is big O of n, where n is the length of the array nums. The space complexity is constant, big O of one, because we are only using a few extra variables. This is much better than the brute force solution. The brute force solution takes factorial time because we have to find all the permutations. So this is an efficient solution. You can see how we can you can see how we were able to arrive at this solution by analyzing a, a case, an example. So if you like the video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.